Angry residents have reached out to the NBC News team to express their concerns regarding the actions taken by the city of Windhoek. They are deeply troubled by their decision to divide the plots, as many of them have been living on these plots for more than 20 years. The residents further emphasize the potential fire hazard that could arise if any of their houses caught fire and the flames spread rapidly due to the close proximity of the divided plots. When one of these house burning, one of these house burning, we have a lot of children. You know, our people who sing the Gabasu are accommodating a lot of people. When one of these house burning, where are we going to? It means all of the house is it's gonna go into burning. Many residents have expressed feelings of heartbreak and anger in equal measures regarding the demolition of their toilets and water pumps to create more space for additional plots. Most of the people are complaining, but those people are just coming like, once you ask them question, they don't respond to you. They'll just tell you, move from this point to that point, but they ain't even telling us what's going on. Meanwhile, more than 100 residents of Babylon have expressed their strong condemnation towards those who are speaking against the future development planned by the city for the area. Lavinian Dilula, the chairperson of Babylon B Informal Settlements, dismissed the comments suggesting that residents are unhappy with the small plots. They came and gave us new plots. Although they are small, we have to accept them because we have been living here for many years illegally. We do not want anybody hampering with the new developments and blocking them. Let us stay here in the same conditions that we have lived for over 29 years. We have been living totally in the dark and it's also so dangerous for the community. And then we have been, the community members, leaders have been going up and down to city of Ventuk headquarters, trying to plead for us to get electricity, for us to be electrified. But until today, we were not, we were not electrified. So finally, that city of Ventuk is in our favor and came to Babylon and trying to ele electrify Babylon because of one household complaining, apparently because that the air that were given is too little, when complaining to, um, to city of Ventuk, and then because of them, now the development of Babylon is trying to be stopped. You understand? So we were, we were not going to stand and look at that. The city of Windhoek responded that they are busy rearranging a block of land in Babylon in order to give residents municipal services, especially electricity, stating that they have engaged the unhappy party to reduce his structure to accommodate others as his structure exceeds the measures as it covers about three urbans.